good. How are you all doing? Well, hot and wet. Hot, yeah. Well, yeah. hot because the, it was decided that a fire would make it look kind of raw, and, which is really hot, and this barn <laughs> leaks, <laughs> so we're up to our shins in <laughs> running water. It does look amazing, though. I can understand the, the effect. Yeah, but you going. can't see the floor, which is soaking wet. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, Caleb. Let's start with you. Um, what did you think of this whole enterprise? Because obviously you worked on the land before. What did you think about Jeremy coming in and, and taking over? Um, <laughs> well, every farmer I can probably speak for in terms of they do not like change. I mean, I'm, I'm really bad. I don't like change at all. And I did at, at the start, I was like, oh, God, you know, what's going to happen? And, um, you know, how is it going to go? And, you know, I didn't know what to expect. You know, I never knew a TV crew coming in. I didn't know what to expect about that. I didn't know what to expect about the ideas that you had, did I? And um, yeah, you did, you said they'd be rubbish. Yeah, uh, majority of them, he said, oh, I'm going to get sheep, but don't do that, Jeremy, don't, why? You know, don't do that. And then he did the opposite, which he obviously now regrets, I hope. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, and I mean, I, I mean, I love the farm shop and everything like that in terms of a farm. I think every farm should have some sort of farm shop. So I'm very glad we've got that. Um, and we, it's doing very well. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, I think he's been kind. I think he thought, like everybody, oh my god, the man from television, he's going to try and be a farmer. But yeah, I really I did, did think that, yeah, I know, but, but I did try <laughs> to be a farmer. That's what surprised I actually, yeah, did try when, to be yeah, a farmer. when he started up, oh god, it's going to be a bit like you know, oh god, he's going to break this, he's going to break that. But actually, he was trying to learn about the whole the whole uh, plan of farming and how, you know, the best way to do stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm going to get on this tractor and actually get out there and do the work instead of going, right, yeah, go and do that, you know? Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Jeremy, you put the work in, didn't you? Oh, God, yeah. No, I really did. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's some things I'm not allowed to do. I'm not allowed to spray. Which is probably a good thing. Yeah. Just... <laughs> so, anyway, I'm not allowed to do that by law. Um and then, but cultivating and drilling. Well, I did drilling all wrong. I yeah. did cultivating. Probably wrong, won't want you to do drilling again, to be honest. No, cultivating is quite good at. Anyway, but yeah, there's a there's a lot. There's just an enormous amount to learn, more than you can possibly imagine. Because to be a farmer, you have to be a vet, a midwife, a businessman, a mechanic, a gambler, a weather forecaster, and a tax collector. I mean, you really genuinely have to be all of those things, and they're all full-time jobs, and you've got to do that mm. while actually also farming. It's, oh, God, it's, 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 there's just, it's just this sensory overload, so many things coming at you all the time that you haven't got a clue about. And I just hope that people who watch the programme think, I have no idea. I just thought farmers kept pigs in underground boxes and then fattened them up and then slaughtered them, which is also not true. Um, and then you realise, oh, actually, farming is quite good, and most farmers do their best to look after the land and look mm. after the animals that live on it. Um, I just hope that's what people think, anyway. Um, I do like your relationship with the sheep. So I've seen a couple of episodes that involve involve the lambs, and now, <laughs> now I see you take them out for pints as well. No, that's not strictly true. That I'm, I'm becoming much, well. Look, they've always been a business. It's upsetting when you have to take them off to slaughter but you've got it to do and then that one that was in the pub it was orphaned its mother died so we it had to be weaned and then and now it's back out in the field with all its um, with all its mates but um it was on its way back and i fancied a pint so it had to come to the pub with me <laughs> <laughs> but i was just moving it from a to b and i just thought what do i fancy it was actually sunny for the only time in the last month i thought I, you know i Yes, yes, the pipe, the steering wheel just did that as I was going by. So the lamb came in the pub. Um, it, part of the joy that I got from watching the show was uh, you being defeated by many sheep. I would, yeah, I know it's, they did. They have got, once they developed a mind of their own, which took them about a day, they were just, um, Caleb warned me, he said, you won't enjoy keeping them. And no. I mean, I did get quite fond of them towards the end, but not half as fond as I was of when we finished last year and I was able to do a deal with a neighbouring sheep farmer. Well, he basically, he now does the work. And so it's like, I can't... They really are tricky, a sheep. I mean, um, the Caleb, hours we spent, you know, I'll be getting calls at 10 o'clock at night, the sheep were out. 
Jeremy, the sheep are out, you know? We're out there in the dark trying to get the sheep back in or get them back from the main road or anything like that. And, it was and you genuine. see, this is it. You don't see that on camera. That's the thing. When the filming stops, the farming has mm. to... Farming is a 24-hour-a-day thing. That's why animal farming is... It's mostly a cereal farm. You have to... We grow wheat, barley, rape, and, and wildflowers, as it turns out. But wheat, barley, rape is our staple income. And the sheep were just, I thought, well, why not? There'll be a cheap lawnmower. <laughs> Caleb said there wouldn't be, and he was right. Um, I, I wanted to ask you about the pandemic, because obviously, you know, weather is one thing you can't control, but a pandemic coming in on top was... You Thank know. you for saying we can't control the weather. I've been saying that for many years. But, <laughs> yeah. um, but you, you, you did actually get COVID in the end. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, which was the least ill I've ever been. I was really, I thought, oh, God, if I get, you know, when it first began, if you get this past the age of 50, you're pretty much toast. And I, I smoked half a million cigarettes. and I don't smoke now, but I did. And um, I just thought, well, I'm, I'm toast. So I was a bit, Ooh. but anyway, it was uh, obviously for hundreds of thousands of people, it's been catastrophic. But for me, it was, it was very easy um, when I had it. It was great, actually. I just sat in bed watching Bond films, drinking beer. So I was, <laughs> I was very happy to have it. Um, uh, but and I also got it out of the way, which is great. You never had I've it. I've never had it. You no. never it. Or you might have done. You're only twenty two. Really? Oh, no, I've never. It's never really. It's not really. But as far as the COVID was concerned on the farm, it made the, the lockdown made zero difference to us. We just they said farm workers were key workers. Yay! And then when you and the weather was so lovely last year that we were effectively told not to leave an idyllic thousand acre farm in the Cotswolds in the sunshine oh no <laughs> oh what shall we do um and luckily our, all of our the, the, well we had a minimal crew cameraman and sound recorders and that was it and we just kept filming and kept farming um so it made zero difference to us in fact it was Probably the happiest I've ever been at work in my entire life. It does look amazing. It does look really. It, it was. It was so idyllic. It was beyond belief how lovely it was. Um, I did kind of want to pick up on the on the pub that you mentioned. Um, just because you were you talking in one of the early episodes about how you know the community as well that everyone everyone's going out. They're doing similar stuff on the land, and then they often kind of go to the pub. And Caleb, I know you were talking about how you know everybody knows what everyone's doing. So how how important is the is the pub to farmers and people that work on the land? It, it must be like really important for like keeping in contact with people and keeping your spirits up. Yeah, I think personally nowadays farmers don't talk to each other as much as they should do. You know, they they kind of get themselves in their farm and they box themselves in and they they got to work, they got to do this, they got to do that. And I think getting out, you know, going to a farm sale or like you say, going to a pub is one of the most important things for a farmer that they should be doing because he's there talking to other people about the same problems that everyone has. And um, I mean, I, I think it's the best thing that... I mean, look at the suicide rate in farming and look at the, you know, the, yeah. I think the, the, the village pub is one of the most important. Now that I'm out here, I've realised just... When I go in, there's always Gerald. He's always yeah. having a drink and you often get the crudges, you know, yeah, the, yeah. But yeah, you can sit and chew the fat and oh God, we've faced house of flea beetle for you this year and the black grass and all of the things that farmers yeah, yeah. face. And you can actually discuss while well, we're trying this and we're trying, oh, well, that's quite interesting because we're all in the same area. Yeah. So we've all got the same soil. We've all got the same weather. We've all got the same conditions. We all grow the same yeah. stuff. Makes sense, really. How's and that? you learn so much more. From yeah, other you people. do. You know, they so might the have done pub, something. Going yeah. back to it, the pub is critically important. A drinking pub, that is. Yeah, a drinking pub. Not a, not a sit down for a boned pigeon at fifty quid a pop. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm talking about stopping off after a day at work and having three pints. No, two, one and a half pints. And then, and then um, going back home and yeah, doing work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Amazing. Thank you very much for talking to me. We're completely out Pleasure. of time, um, but that was brilliant. I thoroughly enjoyed watching it. Thank you. Brilliant. That's very kind. It's very nice, it, and it does look, especially when I'm stuck in my flat, being able to see the nice fields and stuff like that. Very <laughs> <Exactly>. calming. <laughs> is, yes, that's nice. Calming is a good word, I think.